Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Node.js with MySQL APIs. This is our part number 18. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about API method for insert data. In our last video session, we had seen that how can we list all data from our table as well as to show a single data on the behalf of a particular ID. So these are the things actually we had discussed in our previous videos. So inside this video, we are going to see that how can we insert data inside our table. So before insertion API, we have to see that how many methods we have to actually insert data in our table. So if I open a new tab, so we have basically two different ways to insert data in our table. First way is something let's say insert into here we have to provide the table name. So let's say table name and inside this parenthesis firstly we need to provide the columns and writing a keyword something called values and inside these values actually we have to provide the values according to these respective columns so this is our first way something called value 1 value 2 and so on and inside this it is something column 1 column 2 and so on. So this is the first way to insert data inside table. Now inside second way something insert into table name and here we need to provide like set. Here we need to write column 1 equal to let's say value 1 column 2 equal to value 2 and so on. So by the help of these two different methods, these two different approaches, actually we can insert any data inside any of the table. So let's see about these two approaches in action. So back to editor. Now inside last videos, as we scroll down, so this is the first API that we have developed. So if I collapse, and this is the second API that we have developed as well. Now inside this, let's say that we are going to insert insert data API method and inside this insert data API method we are going to use called post request type. So let's app dot post and inside this we are going to simply use called user and here we need to provide the callback function it will contain something called request so this should be something request and response now inside this callback function simply write connection this is the variable actually we had created in our previous video with our valid mysql i connection so scroll down so this is connection dot query and inside this the first argument we have to provide as the query so let's say that we are going to use called the first approach so go here let's insert let's into the table name we have as tbl users if i back to chrome browser now this is the table called tbl underscore users so right now we have only four rows of data so back to editor so table users inside this parenthesis we need to provide the column names so the columns we have called name email and the phone number because it is an auto increment means it is a primary key so back to editor let's say that name email and phone number and here we need to provide the keyword called values and inside these values actually we need to provide the value so let's say that I am to put the placeholder in the second we need to provide the value in the third we need to define the callback function and inside this callback function let's pass some parameters something called error results or simply let's say fails 
and inside this block simply write let's response dot json let's say status equal to one let's say message equal to data inserted successfully and inside this data key I'm going to provide the result what we are getting via this callback function. This is the result actually we have made inside our data key. All we have done now. Now this time we need to provide the placeholder values. So firstly when we will pass any post data either we can use like URL encoded data or via body parameters. So let's say that we are going to provide the parameters like requested parameters like name, email and the phone number via body. So for that we need to install body parser and pm package. So if we check inside this package.json already we have done that means already we had installed inside this node application. So firstly we need to import that. So let's say const body parser equal to let's say require body parser and inside this we need to include so let's say that include body parser for body parameters so let's app dot use and this is the app which is express object so app dot use and inside this let's say body parser dot json now it is going to tell our express framework that we are going to pass body parameters as well so scroll down to our code and here inside this let's say that where name equal to something request dot body dot name in the same way for the email address so email let's request dot body dot email address same for the phone number something phone number it will be request dot body dot let's say phone number now if we save all these changes and here are the variables called name email and the phone number we have to pass inside this array so let's say name email and phone number all we have done now three placeholders we have now placed three different values and these values actually we are getting from body parameters to receive body parameters actually we have to use body parser so before inserting data to our table so first time if I console.log so let's say that console dot log and inside this simply write request dot body return false now we are going to check about what we are getting inside this request dot body so save all these changes now firstly we need to start our server so node mon and the file I think that index dot js pressing enter now server is now restarted or is started at 5000 port so if I back to postman and let's say that simply we need to provide the route is called something post request type and this is the route known as user so back to postman we need to change call post request type and this is user inside this if I click on send button and before sending any parameters actually we need to pass the body parameters so it is continuously sending so cancel this request go to headers and let's say content type it should be let's say application json because we are going to pass our parameters inside body so go inside body raw and let's say that name equal to let's say Sunil email address something let's say 
at gmail.com and let's say phone number and something we have called a dummy value now if I click on send button and back to our console now this is the value actually we are getting when we hit the first time with no body parameters now this is our response in the second we have passed body parameters called name email and the phone number so as we are getting these values inside our console and this is by request.body so if I make comment of this line so simply request.body.name will give the value of this name parameter if we want the same for the email and the phone number we need to write called request.body.email request.body.phone number so successfully we have passed our body parameters and passed inside this connection query let's uncomment this line to see one more thing if I uncomment that go at the top and if I do comment of this line it means that we have now disabled the feature to pass the body parameters so if we save all these changes back to postman click on send button now inside this if I back to our terminal we are getting undefined it means that we are not receiving any body parameters because we have disabled that so back here again uncomment this line now we have enabled this feature C comment of this line now we are successfully receiving and this time if I back to our postman and if I click on the send button now successfully we have inserted our data inside our table so data inserted successfully back to our table reload this page now we are getting a new row inside this table with the new data if I back to postman now this is the return result via query inside this we can find our important key something insert ID if I back to table now this is the row actually inserted with the ID 10 so this is the return ID it means that new inserted ID via return object so in some cases let's say that we want about the new insertion ID simply we can use this insert ID so how can we receive this parameter simply we need to write instead of let's say that simply if we are going to pass let's say insert ID so simply we need to write result dot insert ID all we have done now so back to postman let's pass some new informations click on send button now data inserted successfully and as we can see that insert ID this time we are getting number 11 it means new data is inserted inside the new auto increment ID and the auto increment ID is something have a value called 11 now this is the first approach by following this actually we had inserted our data inside our table let's see about second approach to insert data so back to editor now if I make comment of all these lines and also if I copy this line pasting it here and making the comment of this line because inside this line we have used our first approach of these placeholders now inside the second approach simply we need to write call insert into tbl users and we are not going to pass this column names as well as the value placeholder simply let's say insert into tbl users let's say set and placeholder this is what we are following about the second approach 
So back to editor. Now insert into table users set and this is the placeholder. Now this time we are not going to pass all these parameters simply let's say params. And this is the parameter actually we will get about let's say where params equal to let's say request dot body. So simply after getting all the body parameters we have assigned inside this variable and simply we have passed this variable right here inside this placeholder. So if we save all these changes back to postman and let's pass some of the data. Now this is the data if we click on send button now data inserted successfully back to table reload this page and as we are getting about the new data inside our 12th number id so this is what guys by following these two approaches actually by the help of post request type we can insert any new row inside our table so inside this video session guys we had discussed about insertion API using Node.js and MySQL. So inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.